Welcome back, everybody. How you doing this evening, this afternoon, or this morning? I'm Pat, and I'm the Queen of Wands. What's shaking? How's it going? All right. So I just want to thank everybody for joining me. All right. Thank you for all of my subscribers as well as my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate all the bookings, the love, the likes, the thumbs up, the emails, and the comments. Thank you so very much. I appreciate your time and your energy that you give to the channel. As we grow, we're almost at 9,000. I'm claiming 10,000, 100,000 subscribers, okay? So I'm claiming that. Put that energy out there, and that's what you get. All right, so that's what it's about, being positive as you go through this transition, this awakening, this rebirth, this transformation, okay? And that's what a lot of you guys are going through, and that's why you're feeling some kind of way about shit, all right? You're questioning everything. You're doing some soul searching. you like planning long-term plans about your future. You know, a lot of you guys are like maturing, doing a lot of um, thoughts as you get older, and you're just trying to plan out your future. Okay, whether it's going to be with someone, you're masculine or not, you're definitely trying to soul search and find out what it is that you want. So I've been picking up on a lot of masculine energy, a lot of depression, sadness, wrong choices, wrong decisions, wrong people, having babies with everybody, unprotected sex, money issues, transportation issues, um, all kind of issues going on with the masculine energy. I feel a state of confusion. A lot has to do with being under black magic. But as you see, divine said it's not working. So it's like they could be um, overcoming some of that. Um, they could be going through that awakening. Divine guidance has stepped in. There is intervention going on. All right. You're being asked to be patient. Okay. And have faith. All right. Have faith. Okay. Have hope. Okay. And to um, have strength. Okay. And to remember, most importantly, that the spirit loves you. They love you. Okay. So remember those things in life. All right. Just be strong. Okay. I just want to put out some energies of how I've been feeling. Wow. And these two cards stayed on the table, as you just seen, that um, the masculine energy it's all over the place. Like I said, he's been feeling some kind of way. So I wanted to um, share some energies that I've been feeling. All right. And this is one of them. The masculine energy could be in conflict with themselves about being bisexual. They could be on the down low. Some of the masculine energies could be gay. And some of them actually want to um, come out. I mean, they're tired of living a fake life. They're tired of hiding this secret. Okay. But some of the masculine energies are um, on the down low. And that's been a lot of energy that's coming out, same-sex energies. And they're letting you know that these karmics are literally driving them fucking crazy. And they're trying to get away from these karmics. But the karmics are driving them crazy. They can't take it. And this is right here is that they want to elope with you, divine fam. They want to elope. And they just want to say, fuck it. And just surprise everybody. Okay? And just surprise everybody and just do it. All right. They want to know would you ever reject them if that's what they came to you with. They just want to know. OK, I'm caught up on myself right now. I'm dealing with my addictions, lust, money, gambling, dark soul of the night energy here. So they're still stuck in their own energies. You know, they got these fantasies and these thoughts about what they want with you, what they want to share with you. But they're unable right now to get themselves together due to their addictions. And they keep having tower moments. All right. I have a sexual addiction. I can't help myself sometimes. All right. It's a secret. They love all of this extra women, threesomes, twosomes, lesbians. They love it all. All right. And this is something that they having a hard time. I'm dealing with. They want to know, will you reject me? Let me prove myself to you, please. They want to know, are you going to reject them? Will you reject them? They're still coming to you and not healed. Um, in regards to a sexual addiction, all right? They feel like when they first met you, Divine Femme, it was love at first sight. It was just amazing to see such a beautiful person with such a beautiful spirit. You guys' first conversation was awesome. You guys remember, this person could have shook your hand, kissed your hand. They was amazed when they first met you. You were different. They knew right off the bat that you were awesome, that you were different, Okay. This person wants to grow old with you, Divine Fam. They want a future with you. 
okay? They want to be happy like you guys used to be. You know, you guys could have been engaged previously, okay? You guys could have um, been on your way to marriage, talked about marriage, talked about the future. But whatever you guys did talk about, it made them happy. And they want whatever you guys had before because you guys were happy. And they just want to know what happened. Well, wow, you fucking happened. Your bullshit is what happened. Your karmics is what's happened. Divine Masculine, what the hell you mean what happened? All right. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Throat chakra, okay. <laughs> Somebody got choked up on that shit. No response, okay. So, have you met someone new? They want to know, are you dating someone new, Divine Fem? All right. You're beautiful to them. They're reminiscing about you. Some Divine Fems could have blonde hair, okay. But they want to know, have you met someone new? They're still stuck in a toxic situation. They're not stuck. They only think they're stuck in their mind. Okay? They have can, they can get out of any situation, but they're more stuck and I'm concerned about the consequences of leaving these toxic situations. Okay? I'm so attracted to you. Let's make passionate hot love. I need you. I want you and I love you. And this is how your masculine energy is feeling at this time about you, Divine Fam. They really love you. They're in love with you, but unfortunately, they're not willing to come forward. They think you're so beautiful, heartwarming, you know, just a beautiful smile, complexion, skin tone, how they touch your skin, your face. They really miss you. They're reminiscing about it. I was being fake with the karmics. I never loved them at all. He was in love with the thought the lust, the temptation, the money, the fun, the thrill of being with a karmic, doing doing whatever he wanted to do with them. Okay? I need a break. We need a break, a vacation, a getaway from all the bullshit. Let's go, baby. All right? They want to go to the beach. They want to go have some fun. They want this getaway. They want to spend this time with you, Divine Fem. They're ready to take that leap of faith with you. They want to marry you. They love you. You are what they consider wife material. They could have made mistakes, married other people, got into situations. There's some divorces, some ending of contracts, agreements, even engagements, living arrangements. A lot of things have ended through divine intervention. All right, Holy Spirit, any more messages? Yes. This is confirming that they are stuck in dark night of the soul. They feel alone. They feel empty. They feel abandoned. So at this time, they could be going out, finding sex, paying for sex, just looking for a companionship any way possible. All right? They're just not happy with the karmic situations. So they just stuck on themselves, doing whatever they can to fulfill themselves. Holy Spirit, any more energies? Divine Masculine that you want to share? Any more energies that you want to share? Okay. Um, marry that girl. I think I want to marry her. He said that's what they want to share. That they want to marry you. Here's that ring. A possible proposal. They really love you. The karmic energy could be watching this video. <clears throat> It's a lot of throat chakra energy, I feel, getting choked up. Like somebody really feels this way about you, Divine Femme. But the karmic energy could actually be watching this video or other videos and see that this energy is here and trying to stop this energy. And Divine is definitely saying, no way. If this is how they feel, whether they get rejected or not, it's no more black magic going on here. All right? Definitely try to stop this energy that the masculine is feeling. Leave his mind clouded. Look at that shit. More energy that they want to elope. They want to want to want to run away. They want to surprise you, divine fam. They want to elope and surprise everybody, but they still saying these karmics is really getting on their fucking nerves. All right, they really getting on their nerves. That card, those cards came out twice, and that's what's going on. But this is the energy that they brought to themselves. Okay. Look at that. You have beautiful eyes. I want to kiss your lips. They love everything about you. 
They're like getting that wake up call, that epiphany about what they really had, who was really special to them. You know, yeah, they might have been with other beautiful people, okay? But it was something beautiful with you, Divine Femme, that was on the inside and the outside, okay? It was just not material. It wasn't fake. It was authentic, okay? You're something different. You're something real, okay? And look at this shit again. These karmics are crazy. It came out again, guys. That this is what's driving the masculine energy at this time. These karmics are crazy. They on his ass. He already know it now. All right. He could have had been married to one that's on his nerve. He wanted divorce. He could have gotten a divorce, just like I said. But he married a karmic that's really crazy. And that's what he's trying to let us know here right now in this message here. Okay. And don't leave me. He sees that you're walking away. And you're all I think about. Please don't leave me. They're begging you not to leave here. You're in this person's head. Your divine masculine can't stop thinking about you, divine fam. <clears throat> this person is <clears throat> choked up here. Okay, they're choked up here. Look at this. Two more cards. All right, there's that scent again. They love that daisy scent. I got someone who wear this cologne on the comment section. Okay, so they loving that. Keep wearing that. It's working for you. Okay, and look at that. A pregnant karmic that they could have been engaged to already. All right, someone who trapped them into a pregnancy. I feel like this is a baby mama who already got kids with this person. Okay, that trapped them into another pregnancy to try to make sure they get the ring and get the marriage this time. Look at this card. They're saying, don't worry, divine timing is here. Don't stress, don't worry. All of this is being handled. They could have got a sign or synchronicity or download that divine is handling some shit. So they said, just go out in nature. Go surround yourself with beautiful flowers. All right? Go nurture yourself. And they know that things will happen in divine timing. Okay? So I want to put some more energies for our masculine. Let's get into his energy and see how he's been feeling. All right? I have some more messages out. And these are my own little personal cards. And these two just fell out. And um, I really have nothing else to say. I'm done talking. All right. This is what they could have told a karmic. All right. Or this is what you could have told them. They could be like remembering on this energy, thinking about this. All right. I really have a hard time healing. They could be crying. They letting you know that they're crying over you. They having a hard time healing about what happened between you two. All right. It was probably no closure. No clarity, no truth. I don't think that he or she will ever change. All right? So they could be with someone, or you thought this about them, that you this person wouldn't change. They could also feel like they can't change. They're struggling to fight their addictions. All right? Whoever they was with just won't change. Nothing's happening. All right, y'all. We got this again. I'm secretly gay. I'm in the closet. So in addition to the download card we got, we got this too. All right. So some of these masculine energies could be gay. <clears throat> they are on the down low. And I keep getting throat chakra. Like someone don't want to tell you. Someone's struggling with this. Okay. I know you feel. Um, I know. I feel like I can't trust you. Just deceptive. All right. You know this person is very deceptive. And they know inside that you don't trust them. At all. And you guys could have been feeling some down low energy, okay, from this person. But they're hiding it very well. And this is also a reason why you could have someone who's not in any committed relationships or only stay in short-term relationships, okay, because they have multiple secrets. And one of them could be that they're on the down low. Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know in regards to divine masculine? I have a hard time meeting new people and going out. Some of them do. All right. Some of them don't want to go out anymore right now. And I need to stop gossiping. Somebody always on the phone or talking shit. All right. So you have masculine energies who could be gossiping and talking shit about you. All right. Or definitely there's karmics that's gossiping about this masculine. And they're having a hard time dealing with the gossip. It could be about you. It could be about the masculine. 
All right. Holy Spirit, any more messages coming from the masculine that we need to know? Any more messages? I'm not taking all of these. They say, yes, they are. Compare or go, okay? So I'm done with this twin flame union for now. It's too much stress. And this is how the masculine feel. It's too much stress on them right now. So they're just going to step back and walk away so they can be stuck in a dark night of the soul, okay? This uh, masculine energy, watch porn. All right, they could be online doing dating and watching porn. All right, doing that a lot. They finally realized that they're in a dead end relationship. That's not going nowhere. Whoever they with, it's not going nowhere. All right, and um, I'm just not ready for a relationship right now. This is what they realized. They still want to be free, single, do their thing. Okay, and I know um, what you did to me. So now it's like they know that you know what they did to you. They know, and it's in their head. They know that they betrayed you, and they know that you know that as well. All right, I found out that you had a baby while you were together, and, you know, it shook you. It was shocking to you. You guys could have found out that this masculine had a baby, that he had a whole secret family, two families, you know, two, three baby mamas. Lies about extra kids. All right. He could have had somebody pregnant right behind your back and you didn't even know it. Some of you divine films could be pregnant or could have been pregnant with your masculine's baby and could have found out that he has someone else pregnant as well. All right. I'm rebuilding my life after pain that you caused. So they was with somebody who caused them a lot of pain and now they're trying to rebuild. And I need to stop gossiping. So definitely somebody is gossiping. It could be a lot of rumors cir circling around this masculine energy. And they feel like I'm living my best life without them. So they feel like you out there, Divine Film, living your best life. You know, without them. But you guys felt like earlier in the early days that, hey, they was living their best life without you. So this is like karma. She was on the other foot now. Okay. And some, you know, masculine energies, they lost their job, but they looking and they trying to find another one. All right. So those are some things that could be going on with the masculine energy. Any more messages, Holy Spirit, that we need to know? Any more messages? Yes, here's one. <laughs> Confirming. They like to watch porno online a lot. Okay. Here's another one. I really have nothing else to say. I'm done talking. All right, so that's confirmation. This is how you guys could feel, okay? But this is also how a karmic could feel. I mean, how they could feel about a karmic or vice versa. All three ways around. Somebody talks tired of talking about these situations that's not going anywhere, okay? So let's find out what else divine is letting us know, all right? Definitely dealing with fake-ass friends, all right? Look how fake they are. Look how fake your divine masculine has been putting on the show, dealing with fake-ass friends, all while he, keeping you a secret. Continuously keeping you a secret in his heart, in his space. He could still be sneaking around, trying to see what you guys are doing. Not trying to let go. Four pinnacles. Okay? But also, he could have gotten played, manipulated, and lied to. So it's like the same thing he did to you and kept you a secret. Put on the show. Somebody did that to him. Okay? So the player... Got played. So Divine just wants you to guys know what's happening here. Okay? Holy Spirit, what do we need to know in regards to Divine Masculine? What's that update? What's going on with the Divine Masculine? They in love with you. You're still in their heart space. They hate nothing about you. They really miss you, Divine Fam. All right? Look at that. But they money hungry right now. So right now, they're taking money over you. Okay, they take the money over you, Divine Fam. They're still fucking toxic, and that's why Divine is blocking this energy from your life. Okay, what else we need to know? Somebody's definitely doing drugs. Somebody could be addicted to drugs. Also had the energy that um, somebody is basically begging a drug dealer for drugs. All right, there's even um, sex trades in regards to getting some drugs. Somebody's addicted, can't afford drugs, but yet they want some. And they're offering sex and sex favors in order to get drugs. 
Okay, so just be cautious of that. That could be happening. All right. Also, somebody could be selling drugs. Okay, <clears throat> somebody's very toxic. That's what I'm saying. Somebody could be um, very hooked on drugs, hooked on drugs to where it's an addictive, like this crackhead type of mentality. All right. So somebody's been betrayed, manipulated, and lied to. Confirmation. Somebody dealing with a snake. All right. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Let's clarify that betrayal. Let's clarify this toxicity. Can I get a card on that, Holy Spirit? Can you clarify that betrayal? What's going on with this betrayal, Holy Spirit, with the masculine energy? All right. So they could have been messing with a hoe. They could be going out to the strip club. All right. Fucking around with a hoe. Fulfilling fantasies. That dark night of the soul energy. Okay. Just hanging out. Um, they could have met this person at the bar. Drinking beers. Um, watching a game or something, acting like they fucking busy. But this is what they do. Go to the strip club, the bar. All right? So instead of somebody was going to a game or whatever, they went to the strip club. <laughs> All right? And definitely somebody keeping you busy. Somebody keeping you a secret. So they acting like they busy. All right? So somebody could be telling you, Divine Femme, if you're in contact with your masculine energy, he could be acting like he's busy. All right, just trying to keep you a secret. He could be telling you he got a lot going on. He got all this to do, okay? But really, he's just keeping you a secret. Because he, I'm um, dealing with a bugaboo bitch. All right? So he's trying to hide you from a bugaboo bitch. All right? What's toxic over here, Holy Spirit? What's this toxic energy that this person could be a hater? Your divine masculine could be a hater. All right? What's this hater energy, Holy Spirit, or the divine masculine? What's this hater? A fake ass apology. Okay, and depression. So he could have had accepted a fake ass apology from a toxic ass hater bitch. All right, and now he depressed because that shit didn't go no fucking where. But this is the person that he chose over you. Okay, somebody could be under investigation. All right, the next card is because they're a fucking liar and somebody put on the fucking show. Somebody fake. Somebody lying about some shit. Deceptive energy here. So just remember that shit, okay? This is toxic energy. And this is definitely why um, Divine have blocked a lot of this energy out of your life, okay? Somebody might ask you for a date. They want to go on a date with you. But Divine is saying, be careful because this fucking person is fake. All right? This investigator, all right? This investigating. Make sure you're not dealing with a narco, a narcotics police. Because somebody is dealing with a lot of drugs as well. Somebody could be hustling drugs here. All right. Somebody could be selling drugs, trying to make some money. So just make sure that you're not being investigated. Make sure that you're not, if you're selling to new people, make sure you're aware of who they are, where they come from. Okay. No, I tell you, somebody fake. Somebody ain't your friend. Somebody could be a narco here. Okay. So just be careful. Holy Spirit. Mm. Somebody's promiscuous. All right. Somebody just an all out hoe. They sleep around. And it's somebody that the masculine energy had a crush on for a long time. Somebody they could have had known for a long time. Somebody they could have had a heart space energy for, be in love with, grew up with. Okay. But this person ain't shit but a hoe. So this could have been their karma that they left you for this person from their past. And this bitch turned out to be a hoe. And that's what you get. All right? So Divine Masculine, you've been a hoe. And then you get back hoes. So what you put out there is what you get back. Hoes. Because you're a hoe, too. Okay? It's like, have a hoe, be a hoe, and you're a hoe, too. Okay? All right? Anything else we need to know, Holy Spirit? Yep. All this bullshit destroyed the masculine energy. They feel destroyed in some way. All right? They could have had their car vandalized. It could have been an accident here, busted out windows, whatever happened with this fake ass hoe. Um, there was um, it destroyed the masculine energy in some way, some form, some fashion. Okay, it destroyed some of their energies. So this is how they're feeling right now because they got played, they got betrayed. All right, they still hiding you for a bugaboo bitch. All right, divine said, keep yourself aligned with the universe, divine film. All right, so what goes around comes around. Somebody definitely dealing with the police, or guess what? This that fake narco. All right, this that fake narco. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so somebody is um, coming in with a fake apology, or this is what they want to give. All right, this is what somebody want to give, or this is what they accepted, a fake-ass apology. Holy Spirit, any more messages? And now they want this union with their twin flame. Okay, because they accepted a fake-ass apology. They had a wake-up call here. The light bulb came on. All right, look at this. Let's see what's going on. They feel hunted. They feel hunted about how they treated you. You know, it's like they wake up with a sweat. They feel hunted. They could be seeing your face. All right. It's like scary. They waking up out with a hot sweat. They just hunted about maybe the fact that you guys are completely over. They're not going to actually never see you again. It's coming to a reality with them. They could be getting downloads and signs and synchronicities from spirit that you could possibly be gone forever, that you're about to walk away for good because they ruined it, Yep, that you escaped their ass. They scared. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this confirmation that you ran away from them. You escaped them. All right? Hmm. Yeah, because all they fucking made, thank you, Holy Spirit, is excuses. They hunted by this shit because all they made is excuses. You escaped this energy. This is all they did to you. Always act like you was busy. All he did was to bring all this negative, toxic ass energy into your life. Black magic, crazy bitches, psycho hoes, addictions. All right. And now they feel like they don't have any faith that you guys can rectify anything here. They feel hunted. That's why they feel hunted. And they know that they could possibly be trying to stalk you now, watch you now. But at this point, they feel like since you walked away and escaped this relationship that, you know, they might be evading your privacy. So it's like they stand back and watch you live, you know, instead of own up or step up to the plate about anything. Wow. So that's why they hunted. They're hunted. All right. You might find out something shocking about this person. They have some something shocking going on with them behind the scenes. All right? They also could have escaped a situation. They was being fake. They was lying to you. This person was not who they appeared to be. All right? You might find something out. You you know, it's something shocking. They have a bunch of secrets. They know this. You know? Holy Spirit right and it's also you know they know that they made you feel unlovable unpretty they could have had treated you just like sex only type of energy here so they're definitely feeling guilty a lot of remorse a lot of regret because it's like you know all of this now you know they in a robotic state they treated you like the same old thing nothing different nothing ever changed no growth they just treated you like a robot, came over and said whatever, did whatever, and then that in and out energy, night of wands, and, and basically something sexual, you know, just treated you like basically a piece of ass or somebody you, you had just have sex with. And, you know, only take what resonates with you, okay? It just doesn't resonate for everyone. You don't have to put a post about it, okay? Yeah, and you felt silenced. A lot of you guys didn't speak up for yourself. You know, they silenced you. They stayed silent. They never um, said anything, never gave you any closure, never answered your questions. They was just playing mind fuckery with you, mind trickery. They know all of this now. And now this is why they're hunted and they're in pain. They know they left you in pain and they stalking and watching you. So this is what's going on with them. They feel guilty as fuck inside, you know? They could have been in a codependent relationship, you know? Not revealing nothing, just stuck with somebody for financial needs or codependent issues, somebody who catered to their addictions, okay? What did I say? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lust. They was codependent in a relationship due to lust, you know? And this is all they um, basically wanted with you too, Divine Fam, is lust. It was all about lust. And then you might be repelled to find out who this person really is. Some of you might, guys might be shocked or have been shocked to find out that they even had a sexual addiction. And some of the things that they could have did for sex, with sex, they could be on the down low. All right? They could be selling sex. 
But this is like a vice versa energy in regards to also the people that they dealt with. They could have been having couple sex for money. This is something that might be shocking that you might find out. Mm. That just came out. Look at that. And also, they, you know, they're dealing with a scorned bitch. So this is reasons and things that you need to know. You know, somebody who carrying a gun, somebody who ready to start a fire. This bitch always come up. It ain't, I don't feel like this is always the same bitch. This could be multiple different bitches because this is a repetitive behavior that the masculine energy constantly do. Piss bitches off, use them, play them, take their money, treat them like a piece of ass. Okay, so that's what they're hunted about. They played you like this in addition to playing multiple people this way. All right, what else do we need to know? It's all about money here with these masculine energies. They're very materialistic. They're very money hungry. They're not even interested in some of these bitches. And some of these bitches ain't even interested in them. It's just about, like I said, what they can get from them. How far they can go here. Some of these people need um, money for legal issues. The masculine can have legal issues and they need money for that. All right. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit, about the masculine energy at this time? They're trying to come in with a dirty fucking offer, so please be aware. All right. They could have accepted a dirty ass offer. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about the masculine energy? Mm hmm. They could have gotten ghosted or they ghosted someone. Maybe that's why that bitch is scorned. They could have ghosted someone who want to fight you, Divine Femme. It could have been a girl fight. Bitches could have been fighting over each other. The same shit. A new day. All right. Look at that. Because of a love triangle. The same shit. A new day. This is what you need to know about the masculine. He's still stuck in love triangles, okay? He could have been dealing with a bitch who played him and put him in a love triangle just like he did you, Divine Fam. All right? He definitely got played, all right? Because all he doing is hooked on fucking. A bitch could be hooked on fucking. This is a sexual addiction. Just want to fuck. Everything in this masculine energy's world right now consists of fucking. Dark night of the soul energy. Please stay away. Be aware, okay? So when they make your offer... Just remember what they truly want. And please remember that they still got a third party. Holy Spirit, please clarify what we need to know about the Divine Masculine. They still hustling, baby. They want money. They gold digging. They out here making offers to bitches. It's like they selling a dick. Is they just getting bitches hooked on them so they can take their money? You know, what's going on here? You know, they hustling, but yet they into you. They want to make you an offer, but damn, are they trying to hustle you, Divine Femme? They want to come in and act like they're so into you, but are they trying to hustle you with an offer? Hmm, just be aware, please, all right? Somebody nosy, always got something to say, fake-ass friends, negative Nancy, all right? Got something to say about them being into you, Divine Femme, all right? Just because this person is lonely, okay? The one who making all these comments, got all this shit to talk, they lonely. Okay? And they fake. They smile in the divine masculine's face, and they a backstabber behind his back. Okay? Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know about the divine masculine? Holy Spirit, that he dealing with a divine abuser, the bitch who watched the, vi watch the videos to try and find out everything she can about the twin flame union, the divine femme, so she can be a clone. All right, and so she can know how to interrupt, what type of magic to do, what type of spells and potions to put out there, what type of candles to burn, so she can know what type of rituals to do to break up everything that is divinely guided. Okay, but once again, I swear to God, divine saying this person is wasting time, nothing's gonna happen, you're gonna be stuck. You won't have any changes. You won't prosper. Nothing will happen. You can try to abuse the divine spirit all you want to. Nothing will happen here. Okay? You're wasting your time. All right? Someone could be in jail. Someone could be facing karma with imprisonment time. 
All right. There's a masculine energy that could be in jail also. All right. Somebody wasted time in a relationship and they wasted time connecting with you, Divine Fam. And now they actually could be incarcerated. And time is up. Look at that. The next card. Thank you, Holy Spirit, from your confirmations. Is they wasted time with the queen. The one who's rising. Their divine film. They wasted time with you. And now they could actually be incarcerated. Okay? And divine close that cycle. Because this masculine energies, some of them could be incarcerated. And now they realize they wasted time. And now you could be gone. They might end up going to jail. They could be in jail. They're confused about which way to go. And that's why they wasted so much time. Instead of taking the synchronicities and the downloads that was given to them long time ago, they stayed confused. They stayed manipulated. They let people manipulate them. And now, time's up. Okay? They let people scare them, threaten them. They wore a mask. All right. So my energies are getting so much stronger. Um, I was getting messages that I was encouraged to go into mediumship. OK, so I am studying that more, which I feel like I already have a lot of the energies. OK, so I feel like I keep getting confirmation cards on channel energies and messages that I continue to receive. So I'll keep sharing those with you guys. OK. All right. Here's that sexually transmitted disease. Things that we need to know about the masculine energy, sexually transmitted disease, and this masculine energy could have married a bitch for money. Okay? They're in a situation for money. They could be getting threatened about a situation in this marriage. All right? Um, they could be getting threatened about getting sent to jail if they step to their queen rising. All right? And now they finally realize that they wasted all this time. All right? With a divine abuser. And now they have consequences to pay, all right? Because they was a fucking player. They was dealing with a player, and they was a player themselves. What they put out there is what they got back, okay? It could be somebody in the NBA. It could be a basketball player, all right? But it could be anybody who kept dealing with this spiritual hater, with this person who kept doing black magic, who stayed in this energy, who kept going back and forth. All right. Somebody who manipulated them, who tried to be the divine feminine. All right. Fake ass friends and shit who dogged you divine feminines out. Who put you guys down, who told this masculine energy I was crazy. It wasn't nothing but jealous fucking haters. Now all of them will be suffering in their karma because ain't nobody happy in that whole circle, in that whole clique. Ain't none of them happy and they will not be happy because they play with a divine connection that is divinely guided. Okay, the shoe is on the other foot. Cyberbullying is going on. All kind of shit is going on here. Okay, so, you know, people want to post negative things. People might want to attack you. You know, people setting up fake accounts to try to hurt your feelings, say negative things about you. So y'all got to be aware of this kind of stuff. Okay, but this is the things that's going on with the masculine energy that could click off on you, Divine Fem. Because you're hated as well. Okay. Things that try to embarrass you. To hurt your feelings. And you guys are fed up. The masculine energy also know that you guys are fed up. They're fed up. And they feel you have fed up. You're fed up. And you have walked away. And you're not putting any interest in this person. Or this relationship. Or this anymore. So when we get the energy that. You're fed up and walking away. That was your energy, Divine Fam. Because you're tired of this. And you feel like this was a waste of time. You did your part on the spiritual side that you're supposed to learn, you know, and try to work and heal and all of that. You put all the energy you can. But you can't keep staying in something where you're not fulfilled. And you're not getting any results. Someone is not trying to put any effort into this union. Into the steps and everything where it's supposed to go. You're going to have to get up. You're going to have to put your um, big girl panties on. And you're going to have to go out there and do what you have to do on your own. You're going to have to motivate yourself to be that strong boss bitch. And start your mission your mission work. Your healing. Your volunteering work. Your giving back. Working with humanity. 
learning what your purpose is. You have to start that alone or you'll stay stuck. You'll create blockages in your life. Okay. Study, do the work, work on your soul. Just don't sit up here and watch uh, YouTube videos about this. You have to learn and put the work in as well. Okay. All right. The next energies. Yep. Just a hustler. Okay. Who make offers. All right. To get people hooked on sex with them. So just remember that. Okay. That's what some masculine energy is. This is what they're going through. They're definitely in dark night of the soul energy. Okay. They definitely had a failure here because they thought something was greener on the other side and it wasn't. All right. They're in a state where they're crying out for help here. They're crying out for help and they hiding this behind being a hustler. All right. They're definitely out hustling. They're looking for the next prey, the next person that they can get over on. Because they're not healed. They feel like they lost you. The karmic's on their fucking nerve. They ain't getting no more money. So now they're out hustling on their next prey. Their next victim. Okay? And this is also what the karmic could be doing. Looking for her next person because masculine energy is broke. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this masculine energy? What do we need to know? What is the energy update on the masculine energy? All right? What's this energy update? All right. They're still going out, running their fucking mouth, being a people pleaser, hanging out. Okay. But however, they do want to come on in here and apologize. They do want to bring you some flowers. See, it's like two personalities here. One minute they um out here kicking with everybody, but then when they alone, they want to go and find their divine film and apologize. They're feeling a lot of guilt here. They want to move, drive, come and see you. Okay, they want to communicate with you and talk to you. They really miss you, Divine Fam. Look at this. This card jumped off. They got a lot of passion for you. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit, about the masculine energy? All right, these cards stood up here. Look at that energy. They like your energy. That's one thing. They love your energy. Now, just be cautious that they could be coming to steal your fucking energy. They've been known for this so they can take it back to wherever the fuck they be at. Okay? So just be cautious. Sneaky shit here. When I said energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at that. And that's going to piss you off and trigger you. I said sneaky shit. Next energy here. They missing you. They longing for you. You guys could be missing and longing for them too. But you guys are triggered because you know that they just steal your energy. You guys know this and you done heard this shit now. You're aware of this shit. That this is what the fuck they do. And take it back to what? The karmic partner. Okay? This is what they do. Take this energy back to a karmic partner. Alright? And also, when you see these two, they could be longing and missing a karmic partner that they were still holding on to. Okay? And this right here triggers you because they come and steal your energy. And take it back to a karmic partner that they're still holding on to. Just what I said. Okay? So just be aware of that. Don't fall for that fucking trap. Please. Don't fall for that trap. A karmic partner that he broke up with. That he's still holding on to. Hoping that maybe they can re rehabilitate something too. You know, he missed you and all that kind of shit. But just be aware like we did see the fake apology card. Okay? They're in solitude. They could have just had a breakup. All right? You guys walked away. And maybe this karmic partner walked away also. They secretly admire you. You're in their heart space. They love you. Okay? And they want your forgiveness and your redemption. But I just don't feel like it's really solid when they just broke up with somebody else that they still kind of holding on to and longing for. It's almost like they're still holding on to a karmic energy that they wish would call as well. Two people here I see. And you have to set boundaries with this person. You got to stop a lot of shit that's going on with this masculine energy. Okay? And you might have to release some shit or release this person. And I'm asking for the mas masculine energy. They still like, still up to some bullshit almost. They got to release something. They haven't healed. They still coming back to you, Divine Femme, still holding on and missing another karmic energy. 
So just be aware, all right? Look at that. They want to make you a priority, but they had a priority, a family situation. It could be a karmic with a daughter or just a child in general that they still holding on to. Look at that. Remembering, all right? But also, this is confused energy. Like, you know, they trying to decide on who to make a priority. It could be you, Divine Femme. Or it could be a karmic energy that they decided on who they want to propose to. They thinking about both of you guys to me. And that's just what I'm feeling here. Of who to apologize to. Who to offer this proposal to. They thinking about it. It could be a karmic, a baby mama. And then it could be you, Divine Femme. Who they want to offer this to, bring some flowers to, romance, take out on a date, okay? They thinking about that energy. This is where they stuck at right here in this love circle, you know? Look at that, full of betrayal. So they still a fucking sneak. They still dealing with two. Undecided, still trying to hold on to two. But yet they want to propose to you, Divine Femme, but they still got these feelings for another energy. The other karma, another karmic energy. Look at this. They can't make the decision. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And they're keeping this shit a secret. It's still betrayal with this masculine energy here. It's still betrayal. Here's some cards that fell over. I'm going to take them about who the fuck they married to. Or want to marry. I'm sorry. They could be married. Divine saying it's a secret. They could be married already. All right. The other secret is they confused about who they want to marry. Because they still holding on to someone else. All right. So you need to find your self-love. They need to find their self-love. But they definitely know that you have. All right. And we do get a lot of energy that. I get this message that maybe the Divine Masculine wants to marry you, Divine Femme, and keep it a secret. All right? And keep it a secret. You guys loving each other. You marrying each other. Hmm. It's almost like you guys can see that, you know, you see um, yourselves being married to each other. Okay? And look at that. It's like a trust issue. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for always confirming what I feel. And this is what I feel, that it's another bitch right here in the background. And they can't let go of a karmic energy here. All right, this could be a karmic energy that they got a sexual addiction for. They want you to trust them, but they still got somebody else that they holding on to in the background. All right, so just be aware of that. If you take your masculine, thank you, Holy Spirit, goddamn. I can't make this shit up. Divine is giving me so much um, confirmation. It's scaring me that, you know, they keep telling me that I don't need the cards anymore. And it's like everything that I say is just confirmation from the spirit that's trying to push me into a mediumship. So I'm trying to believe and, and go with my learning and my downloads that the divine keep giving me. But it's scary that everything I say turns out to be right in the cards. So I'm learning. So I hope y'all can just work with me. Okay. But this is exactly what I was saying. This person that they're holding on to in the background is the karmic partner. As you see in this card right here, they're holding this person's hands. Okay. You guys feel this and know this. And that's why you guys are mirroring this energy. What are the other masculine messages that we need to know, Holy Spirit? All right. And you guys could break up or leave your masculine just because of this reason. Because this energy makes you feel insecure. you already been going through this shit. You're not going to go back and forth and have a repetitive cycle with this masculine energy who cannot make up their mind about who they want to be with and just rushing in because they're still trying to hold on to both. Okay. Still trying to hold on to both of you all. Still trying to have their cake and eat it too. Okay? And just want you guys to go with the flow. They just want you to go with the flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay? But you guys have elevated yourselves. You're growing. you just butterfly. You're seeing butterflies. You know your worth and your value. You know now. All right? And you're not just going to go with the fucking flow. And that's what they want you to do. All right? 
It's easy. They just want you to go with the flow and let them keep doing them, okay? And let them keep. They you. This is you. You guys are on different levels, okay? You're introverted. You're a loner type of chick. You don't need a fucking audience. You don't need an entourage. They do. Look at this. Divine is confirming. You guys are different. You're on different pages. You know, it's almost like you have grown and elevated and this person is still stuck on the same bullshit ass page trying to be popular people pleaser. You're working. You're healing yourself. You're getting ready for what's next on this path. But this person is like a people pleaser. You know, introverted and extroverted. And they know this is the difference between you guys. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And this is what keep you guys in conflict. You're different. And this is why you stay in conflict. Y'all on different pages. The Divine Masculine knows this. That you guys are different. You know? But you're still exciting. You're still fun. You're still wonderful. You're still beautiful. Okay? And they want to come to your home. They want to see you. They want to live with you guys. They want to move in. You know? But look at that. They settled for somebody else. They settled and moved in with somebody else. Okay? So this is what's happening with them. You know, they're still dealing with these old inner childhood wounds that they can't even, you know, get over. Settling for people. Still stuck in toxic-ass energy. Okay? Now, and just look at this. They don't like you being single. All right, Divine Femme? So they might want to come on in here and um, propose to you. All right, they might want to come on in here and propose to you because they don't like you being single. So let me dig into some more things that you guys need to know, and we're gonna wrap this up. They could be dealing with that post-traumatic stress disorder. Holy Spirit, let us know what's going on. What else do we need to know? What's that masculine energy update, Holy Spirit? What's the masculine energies? His current update on his energy? Confused all over the place. All right, shut up. All right, so look at this. All right, so he's trying to level up. He wants something more. He's tired of living the bullshit life that he lived with the karmic energy, okay? He wants his twin flame, which is you, divine fam, okay? But yeah, he's still holding on to an ex-bitch. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for keep confirming what I feel and what I'm saying. He's holding on to an ex-bitch that's toxic, all right? So that's why he can't level up. Holy Spirit, give us some more confirmation. He want this stable bitch. He want you, Divine Fem. You got your shit together. All right? You stable as fuck. He want you. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? All right? But he ain't nothing but a fucking drunk. Only take what resonates with you. If you know you're fucking masculine or damn drunk, then he's just a damn drunk and you know it. This person could be taking shots. They could be passing out. They could be tripping all over the fucking cement, pass out on the couch, just over drinking, sad and depressed because they um lost this stable bitch, which is you, all right, for this ex bitch that's toxic, okay? Who's a drunk right with them, okay? Who's a drunk right with them in most cases, all right? Look at that, a smoker, all right? And look at this, somebody who's setting them up, who don't have good intentions for them. Somebody who just don't see, you know, the good, okay, in them. Somebody who pissed off an ex who could be threatening them. They refuse to notice the red flags within this person that they chose over you, okay? And now they're trying to cut ties. So now they're trying to cut ties because the grass was not greener on the other side, all right? But they're having a hard time. They got caught up here, all right? Look at that. Can somebody keep doing evil eye? putting spells on them, all right, wishing them the worst, trying to keep them stuck because they could be avoiding this person. Thank you, Holy Spirit, you know, putting spells on them. Look at that because they're messing with a hot mess bitch, all right, who could be a drunk. Look at the drink in her hand, always crying and calling with some bullshit, all right, always playing mind fuckery, always got some crazy shit going on. All right, you're not gonna deal with this. All right, because your person want to be a stable person. They could be trying to get their shit together, or this is the fake role that they're playing to people. Okay, they might have some luck coming their way, or they feel like they lost their luck with you. They was also lucky when they was with you. Okay, 
Somebody could be going through abuse. It could be some fighting, physical fighting going on. Somebody could have a black eye, domestic violence. All right. Holy Spirit. Look at that. They could be fighting with this karmic. They could have beaten up a karmic. They could have threatened a karmic, fought with one. But somebody's definitely threatening them now. Somebody want revenge. This person is angry. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Angry. This person is blowing steam. Smoke coming out their mouth. They pissed off. They upset here. All right. That somebody could have had caught in sexually transmitted disease. All right. Yes. Somebody's guard is up. Somebody could be carrying their gun again. Somebody done got their weapon back out there. Somebody's definitely getting threatened here. Somebody owes somebody money. Somebody paid somebody for material items. Gave them a sexually transmitted disease. This could have been some masculine energy who did this. Somebody trying to hack somebody's shit. See what they're doing, where they at, what they've been up to, what they got going on. Trying to find out some shit about somebody who's transitioning over, who's changing. All right, somebody's trying to change. Somebody's trying to, I don't want to be a player no more. Yeah, now because they keep getting caught up in bullshit, all right? And now they want to be into you because you just sit back and mind your own fucking business, all right? You don't get caught up in that bullshit, all right? You don't get caught up in that shit. Look at that. Somebody with a personality disorder. This is what the masculine got caught up in. This is what they chose over you, a crazy bitch. Who angry, who pissed off because she got, got played financially here. And now here she come. You know, ready to start some shit. Ready to start a fire at the end of your block. Pissed off. Here's the moon card. Some lies. Some shit got exposed, revealed here. Okay. All right here. Holy Spirit. Look at that. Vampire energy. Pissed off. Still in the energy here. Sucking the energy clean. Person out to do some harm here. Right, she's very prideful, and she feel like she got played, humiliated in front of friends and family. This person could be hiding out. They don't want to take her around nowhere. They don't want to be seen with her. They was probably not taking her any place. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, here she is. She's that power hungry bitch, and this is the person that could be after your divine masculine. And this is a truth that he played this bitch, but this one bitch that ain't taking it so easy. Okay, and this is a war militant type of energy here that he's carrying around. He's on the defense. He's scared. He could have gotten threatened. She could have told him that she's going to have other people hurt him. It's a reason why he doesn't start getting his gun out. This person is setting his mind into like a, a, a war mentality, like he got to fight or he feel like somebody watching him going to hurt him, set him up. All right. Look at that. Because he's trying to escape here. Holy Spirit. That this person is trying to escape this person. Look at that shit. Because they don't have no good intentions. Somebody's setting some intentions to plot and hurt somebody. Okay. Because what? Because they done started a bunch of chaos. They done did a bunch of bullshit. All right. Masculine playing victim. They know they got themselves caught up in some shit. Here with a spiritual narcissist. Okay. With a spiritual narcissist. Somebody doing black magic and threatening their ass. This bitch is very pissed off because this person want to make amends with you. Because this person wants you back. All right? So this person that they would, they could have had thought that, you know, they could have had black, um, black magic, this masculine energy away from you. Or it could have made him lose his feelings for you. But to me, they went in reverse and only made him stronger now. Because the masculine started seeing what type of person he was really dealing with. This person could have been very negative against you, Divine Fam. All right. Very negative against you. Said negative things against you. But it's only because she was trying to be like you. Because she wanted your role with the masculine. Holy Spirit, what is the energies of how the masculine is currently feeling for Divine Fam? He want to balance what you guys got. He want to balance it out. Okay. He missed the intimacy with you guys. He missed your loving. He missed your sex. Okay? He missed that good stuff. All right? Look at that. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that passion. He missed that shit. All right? But right now, everything is a challenge. Everything is a challenge. How he feel about the divine fam? That you give him unconditional love. 
Okay, that you give him unconditional love. How do he feel about the divine feeling? Look at this, all these cards, okay? Um, they feel a sparkle and the sparks between you guys. They love you. They remember all the beautiful times that you guys shared together. You know, the sparks that fly between you guys. But they feel like they're standing on the edge of a situation in their lives, okay? And they really want to get close to you. They really miss you, all right? And they want to reconnect with you. They love you, okay? And to clear us off this reading, which brings a lot of emotions to me, all right? I don't know. I know where. I was like, ugh. But um, here it is. Your Divine Masculine. All right? So if you guys want your own personal reading, please email me at queenofwines50 at gmails.com. I'd love to give you a personal reading. But this is the update on Divine Masculine's energy and what's going on in his life. All right? Have a beautiful night, a beautiful day, and stay blessed and stay safe. All right? Good night.